give a big Sacramento Regional warm welcome to our MC, Mark Leone. Good morning, Sacramento. Woo! Yeah! Here we go again. Can you believe it? Didn't that six weeks go by fast? <laughs> you guys rock. Man, six weeks concept of flight. That's a very hard thing to do, but you've learned the very difficult lessons. You've given up time with your friends, going out to the movies, watching TV, eating junk food to build a robot. That's awesome! All right, so let's kick the tires and light the fires. But first, let's see what Woody and Dean have to say about this championship. Welcome to the 2012 Sacramento Regional Competition. Congratulations for completing a very challenging project. You started with infinite possibilities, navigated your way through endless design details, and made it here with a team and robot ready to be tested. So before we tip off, let's hear from Dean and Woody. Thanks, John. By now you have a gut feel for the variables needed to score a basket. Since this is an election year, let's ignore spin. Let's focus on the other three. Distance to the goal, initial velocity, and launch angle. You've been solving a classic problem in projectile motion. To hit a target, you need to balance those relationships. Targets are everywhere. We balance these variables every day, aiming at really important problems. That's right. In the game of life, a similar equation applies. Your ability to hit the target depends upon your distance to the goal, how fast you launch, and how well you aim. These variables may have other names, like preparation, intellect and focus, but they're still there. Through first, you've learned a lot about making important shots. Your shooting percentage climbs as you get closer to the hook. You can do that by communicating well, working with others, and being creative, all part of the true education that you get with first. Our sponsors and volunteers help by creating a play field with realistic challenges. Our mentors are there to help you over the bumps maybe over the range. Successfully picking the perfect velocity for your shot is a function of how much you know. The more you learn, the more power you have to solve real problems. This power takes real work. It takes a concentrated effort. Through FIRST, you have seen that your teachers are joined by countless others who want to help you own your shot. They want you to succeed. You'll have the power to understand the laws of Mother Nature and crack the code of challenging issues such as access to clean water, renewable energy, and a cure for cancer. This is why we have this. Your aim is the last variable in the equation. Now, most folks agree that too many young people are wandering aims. They simply do not know where to focus their future. When you immersed yourself in a first team, you sampled many targets. If you found some stuff you like, that's a major victory. Whether it's technology or marketing, when you can see your target, your aim will be fantastic. So now you see what was never meant to be a secret. First is preparing you to be successful in the game of life. You thought you were building a robot to play basketball, but there's a much deeper purpose. You learn how to create technology, and you're ahead in the game. Everyone at first is on your team. Our sponsors, staff, volunteers, and mentors are investing in you because we are confident that you're on the road to solving our greatest problems. Because of first year, you're better prepared. You're standing in a group that is both more likely to take a hard shot and to make it. You understand that nothing is ever as simple as it first seems, and you have the guts to tackle tough problems. This is why we have first. Now, it's time to have some fun with Rebound Rumble. Whoa! One of the great things about this whole environment is many of the people here are engineers. And they've spent their career building things and now they have the distinct honor of working with you. It brings me great honor to bring forward one other such engineer. He's a material science engineer, but he's also the dean of the College of Engineering, UC Davis. Please welcome Enrique Lavernia.
better than that. Come on, a little louder. Well, listen, UC Davis is very excited to have you here. In fact, we are so excited that we have six different colleges in our chancellor supporting this competition. Not just engineering, but medicine, education, social sciences, math and physical sciences, ag and environmental sciences are all sponsoring this event. And you know why? Because everyone in different fields now recognizes that the skills that you learn here will make you successful. So this is a very exciting day. I've been watching for the past six weeks as I'm also a first parent. I've been watching you guys work very hard. I've been watching you guys eat unbelievable amounts of food. And you know, sometimes I hear people from my generation say, you know, young people today, they don't work hard, they don't have passions, they don't have dedication. And when I hear that, you know what I say? Go watch a first team perform. So before I close, I just want all of the team members to stand up and give a huge round of applause to the parents, the volunteers, the teachers, the boyfriends, the girlfriends, everybody who supported them. Come on! So I wish you a very enjoyable competition and I hope to see you someday in the near future either at UC Davis or at some great university pursuing your dreams. Good luck. Thank you very much, Enrique. And thank you for letting us use this incredible facility. Well, there's another district group of people who we hold in high esteem. Yes, they are the judges. They're easily recognized by their blue outfits, but if you check out their names and do like a little Google search on it, you'll be amazed at what these folks have done. They're led by one judge in particular, John Cripper, and she's a mechanical engineer. Um, Jerry, the, the judges are supposed to be here waiting. Did they, did they get cued? Where are the judges? Unbelievable.